Welcome to the video today. We're going to look at how I'm bringing DiviziMate into my main template. And I put it off for a while until I had all the bugs worked out of my main template. And now that that's working very solid, and I've made a lot of changes to that, by the way. Um, but now it's time to bring DiviziMate in to bring all that kind of harmonic color and possibilities of that grand orchestra to set the stage with really complex and interesting chords and then to layer in any kind of VST instrument on top of that is really exciting and my experiments have been really positive. So what you're going to hear next is just a few examples of just DiviziMate's orchestra and Scalar. So Scalar is going to be sending DiviziMate um, a bass track, a melody track, and a rhythm track. And so DiviziMate is getting that signal by the use of three of these loopback tracks. You can only have one DiviziMate because it doesn't work like a VST, it's not inside Cubase, but you can have multiple loopback tracks to that DiviziMate. And that's what I'm taking advantage of. And I'm sending a different scaler to each one of these loopbacks and it's working really well. So what that allows is to have a very complex and interesting uh, DiviziMate orchestra playing and then you start to layer all your other instruments on top of that. So what you're going to hear next is simply DiviziMate with Scalar playing it. No other instruments. And so it's the very tip of the iceberg of what can happen here. And it's basically a technical... Um, these are technical examples of just the system working correctly. And then later I'll get into how you would do this on a full scale with multiple chord progressions, bringing all the different instruments in like easy bass, um, bringing in the beautiful sonokinetic libraries, bringing in um, the ample guitar and all the other libraries that you may want to use with uh, DiviziMate. It's, uh, it's all going quite well, so I'm excited to show that in the future. So, hope you had a good day today and that you're able to make some music, and we'll see you on the next video.